Hi guys, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Kitizen. Right now, I'm outside of a local thrift store. It's not like a Goodwill or a Salvation Army, but like an independent thrift store in my town. I wish I showed you how much stuff I had in my trunk, like bags and bags, probably like eight to 10 garbage bags filled with clothes that I couldn't resell, mainly from like friends of mine that I got for free. Maybe there were like a handful of things in there that I had thrifted myself or sourced. And, you know, I got at home and realized there were just too many flaws for me to resell it. But um, yeah, like eight to 10 bags of stuff to donate and then I also had two bikes that like my kids aren't using anymore so since I'm here since I made the donation I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna try to maybe pop in for like 15 20 minutes I'm gonna try not to spend too much time here and then I am gonna go home so I thought that I would take you along for the ride see if we find any goodies and yeah let's go won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck Alright, so who doesn't love a good walking inside the thrift store scene? But my attempt for this uh, voiceover is just to kind of walk you through why I decided to get some stuff, why I didn't, why I spent so much time looking at certain things. And you'll notice like I'm kind of half-heartedly looking through some of this stuff right when I walk in. Just because really like for me my main focus was really going to be shoes this day just because I feel like shoes in general sell really well for me and they're generally something that people really need you know like oftentimes it's not like people need a specific shirt or like a specific pair of pants or dress or something but people are always needing shoes so you see that I quickly head over to the first section of shoes which is the kids section I'm kind of looking at these Nikes because I've never seen Nikes in this like duck boot style before um, also if you notice that I don't get something and you're like oh my god you should have gotten that because it's worth a million dollars please let me know in the comments because I feel like that's how I can learn and other people can learn too so if those Nike duck boots were worth like a billion dollars please let me know I don't really take that much time to like do comps while I'm thrifting especially on this trip because like you heard me say in the car I really was looking to only be here for like 15 to 20 minutes it ended up being like 30 40 50 minutes to an hour or something I was hoping that these were those like freshly picked uh, moccasins I don't think that they were and even if they were they were pretty worn so I didn't get them but yeah please kind of educate me on what you feel like is worth picking up and what isn't those Nikes can be really good but they were just priced a little too high Crocs if the logo is rubbed off too much then I probably usually just kind of leave them behind because they look a little too worn for me and kids crocs especially like the super basic ones I don't know they're kind of hard for me um, these I thought were maybe keens I was hoping to find some um, keens and I did but just not in the kids section so you'll notice that I quickly pass over those I was trying to see if those were like a new balance or anything like that um, but you just kind of see like I'm not super excited about looking at the kids stuff This is a pair of Minnetonka clogs or like mules and you'll see me put them in my cart But I do think that I end up leaving them behind just because the comps weren't really that amazing I did end up checking them a little bit later they weren't that amazing and I think they were a little bit more worn than I would have liked so they are going to go in my cart but you will see in the thrift haul that I'm going to do at the end of the video that they don't actually make their way home with me. Um, these snow boots I check over, they actually were in like pretty good condition. I don't remember right now off the top of my head what the... Um, what the brand was but you'll see me put it in the cart and then literally like three seconds later I'm like nah like I don't really want to sell these so I go ahead and take them back out and put them away because I just wasn't feeling that and so I'm gonna keep looking and then head over to the men's section of shoes and it was kind of weird because they had these shelves like at the ends of racks and that's where they play some shoes and then they had just like a dedicated section for shoes so I found some pretty good ones here this is a pair of like gander mountain waterproof hiking boots so I put those in my car you'll see them later in the thrift haul these are a size like 15 pair of Keens um, I don't even think I knew when I was sourcing that they were a size 15 but I do really like to sell Keens they were a little bit dirty but I decided I would throw them in my cart anyway this was another pair of Keens they were like slip-ons but these were actually just way too worn and you couldn't even tell what the original color of the shoe was so I put them in my cart but later I end up not checking out with them this I was trying to figure out like what they were and if they were worth picking up they were pretty dirty I, 
I don't know what the brand was. Like, I don't think the brand is working sport. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I was hoping that they were like a steel toe shoe. And even if they were, like, I don't know that I would have gotten them because I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff. But you see me like looking and just kind of contemplating if this is a good pickup or not. And ultimately, I just decide to leave them behind because I also don't want to deal with like cleaning them. So I paused and I looked at these New Balance shoes. Um, New Balance sometimes makes shoes specifically for people with diabetes or like just walking shoes in general. And sometimes they can do really well. And this kind of looked like it would be along that style of shoe, you know, with like the Velcro and stuff. Um, I did go ahead and put them in my cart, but I actually ended up not getting them. They were a little too worn to justify the price and I just didn't really feel excited about listing them. Um, this is a pair of Merrill like slip-on kind of like waterproof hunting type shoes. Um, I did end up picking these up because the comps seemed like they were worth it and I have been having really good luck with hunting stuff recently. And then everything else on this rack was kind of a bust. So now we are over on this wall. It's kind of funny because the wall says like Livy and Luca and Clarks and stuff like that. So you can tell that they got this rack um, or like this wall fixture from a store, but I saw a few things. Maybe you'll see something and you'll be like, oh my gosh, you should have picked it up. Again, if you see anything like that, please let me know in the comments down below. But generally speaking, there were a lot of things that were like okay, but not very well priced. I did um, get kind of excited about these New Balance shoes. They look pretty nice on the outside, but there was some wear on the bottom. And then when I did an even closer inspection later, I found that there was actually kind of like a rip and the um, inside was showing. So I did end up not picking those up. So I'm just scanning to see what else there is. Um, it's just such a great learning opportunity to look through all the shoes because you know, you just see so many things and um, some things you kind of take the time to look up and then you're like, eh, not worth it. And then some things are. This I was so sad about. It was a Carhartt jacket, but it had so many different kinds of stains. Like, I don't even know what that is. Like an oil stain, a grease stain, I don't know. And it was priced really well, except for the fact that, look. And then it had some gigantic stains on the sleeve as well. And I just knew I wouldn't be able to get those out. And so I just went ahead and left it for someone else. I think it would be a great jacket still to do some work in. This was probably my favorite find of the day. It was another Carhartt jacket with like a plaid print, snap up, um, fleece lined, and it actually has already been purchased because I took a picture of it on my Instagram doing that same poll asking, you know, if people um, thought I should pick it up or not. Everyone was like, you should get it. Um, I did pass on some great brands. You know, I passed on some L.L. Bean and Columbia just because there was a little too much wear, again, to justify the amount that they were asking for. And Columbia, while I do think it's a really great quality brand, I don't have a lot of luck with it. Here I do pause at the cowboy boots. I don't know anything about cowboy boots, so I'm always so weary of picking them up, but I did just pick up a brand, um, or I did just pick up a pair not too long ago and sold it for my full asking price of $50. So maybe I should have gotten some of them, but uh, it was just too high of a price to justify um, you know, trying that out. So this is a pair of Echo slip-on like loafer type things. I did end up picking these up because I see Kathy from Ginger Marvin sell Echoes all the time and I wanted to try. Um, it's Mizuno I kind of paused on because I have a few, sometimes they sell okay, but I haven't been able to move them. So I just went ahead and left those there even though they were in pretty good condition but I didn't feel like adding more to my collection of unsold Mizunos. This I probably should have picked up. It's um, actually, I think, Saucony, but because it said Everrun on the inside, I was like kind of confused, but you'll see in my haul that I end up getting a pair of Sauconies that say Everrun on the inside. So I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. I do find another pair of Echoes. These one are more of a lace-up and I got these as well because I just wanted to try different styles and see what worked and see how Kathy from Ginger Marvin makes so much money off of them. 
Um, these are some sort of Adidas shoes. You guys, I could like come across a pair of Yeezys or a pair of, what, I don't know, what are those really popular Adidas ones? I would never know. Like I should do more research, I just, I don't know. And I really was contemplating because these um, were a blue color and blues are, they were like 25% off this day or something. I'm just like dropping shoes all over the place. But they seemed really worn on the inside. Um, they were so worn I couldn't even see like, um, the tag or anything or like the size. So I was like forget it. Like they're just not worth it So yeah, I'm probably passing on such great stuff and I just don't know enough to know that it is great But I'm doing my best and that's all that we can do But I know enough now to know that there are some things just not worth picking up I like half-heartedly glanced at the belts, but I was like nah these rock revivals I stopped because I knew they were something crazy like that from buckle and they were like ten dollars so I ended up not getting them just because I don't know again like these are not my favorite type of thing to sell I'm okay with selling them if I get them for like a dollar or something but for ten dollars I was like yeah I probably could have gotten a decent amount for them I did end up picking up this LL bean pullover just because it was like 249 or something like that and I feel like this kind of stuff can do really well LL bean is definitely a trusted brand when it comes to fleeces and that sort of thing so I did get that and then you see I get into like uh, button up shirt territory and I'm like no thanks I just I have so many and now I am in the women's shoe section and I don't know like I really want to try and pick up more kind of athletic shoes just because I feel like those are something that people need maybe they're not super excited about it but it is something that people need and so I you know you see me kind of looking at a bunch I set the phone down for a second because I tried like the dry rot test on a pair of dance goes I I do think I ended up picking those up, I can't remember. These are a pair of Brooks, I think? No, I don't know what they are. I, You'll see in the haul if I get them or not. Um, maybe they were Sauconies, I don't know. These for sure are a pair of Sauconies because they are the Everrun again, but I think they were a little too worn, so I ended up not getting those. Another great shot of that Carhartt jacket that already sold. Some Crocs, but they were a little too expensive and a little too worn for me to get. And I do look at, you know, just a bunch of shoes like Nikes and different things, just not knowing if they're worth it or not. But I do end up leaving most of it behind just because, you know, there are a lot of Nikes out there and most of them are not really worth much. Passing by the jewelry. Do you guys get jewelry at thrift stores? I don't think I've ever sourced jewelry before because oh, I, I definitely don't know what it is. Comes, uh, what I'm doing when it comes to jewelry. Okay, so I paused on these White House black market heels because I literally sold these exact same heels a week ago for $30. And so in my head, I was like, oh, I should just get it. Like you see me coming back to them, but I think they were priced at like $9 or something. And I do kind of feel like that sale that happened, the $30 sale was kind of a fluke. So I do end up not getting them just because Again, I didn't really feel like listing something like that for that much of an investment. Um, I end up putting these new balances in my cart, but I do believe I end up leaving them behind. I don't think I actually ended up purchasing them. I guess you'll find out in my haul. But you see these like mule or uh, clog type shoes by the brand Riker or Reeker? I don't really know. I do end up getting these. I have sold this brand once before and I thought they were actually really pretty. Not something that I would necessarily wear, but I thought they were pretty. And then I see these Cole Haan uh, pumps. Cole Haan is really hard for me to move quickly. It does eventually sell. Uh, they're so neutral that I'm like considering it, but they were old tag Cole Haan too, so I left them behind. I don't even know what those were. And then these Crocs, I have sold these before, but they didn't sell for very much, maybe like $18, and they uh, kind of sat around for a while. So I did end up passing on those for the price that they were asking for them. Um, I'm at like another wall of their quote unquote premier shoes from this store, you know, what they consider premier, nothing that I'm super excited about. I do find this pair of Merrill boots and they wanted $20 for them. I did pretty recently pick up $25 Merrill boots at a Goodwill not too long ago and they did sell for, I wanna say 75 or 80, but those were like new without the box and the ones that I just saw were not in the best condition. So that's why I ended up passing on those. And then I'm just kind of looking through, not really seeing anything exciting. And then I stopped at these Born slides because they seemed really nice. I think they were priced at like 450. Um, the leather was really soft and the blue tag was 25% off, but 
at the end of the day, just like, again, wasn't super excited about them. If they were like a dollar, I mean, I would have gotten them for sure, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, yeah, I probably should have like run comps and stuff. These were Diesel, which is a pretty decent brand, but they had a lot of stains and stuff on them. And for $5, I was like, nah, and I think they were kind of an older style too. These kind of caught my eye. They were J. Crew Factory, but you know, I think they wanted like six or seven bucks for them. So I did pass on those as well. I think there are another pair of Kohlhan flats. They were just a little too worn. And again, just, I know that they'll sit for a while. These are Picolinos. I do end up picking these up because Kathy sells them all the time. And apparently the point of this video is that I'm trying to be more like Kathy. That's not a bad thing. So if you haven't checked out her channel yet, definitely make sure that you do. I will link it down below. So, um, apparently I am her biggest fan. Uh, these boots, I thought they were kind of nice. I think maybe they ended up, I don't know. I don't know what brand they were, but nothing super exciting around this side. I do head over to the coats and I don't really find anything amazing, but I do find this one vest and I kind of contemplate. It's like this paisley down vest from Athleta. And that's, you know, those are the two reasons why I even stopped to consider it for a $12 price tag. One, because it's athleta, and two, because it's down. I do end up putting it in my cart, but I do also run comps before I leave the store. And comps really are only around like $30, and I don't know, I just didn't love it enough to, um, you know, buy it and basically just double my money. And I didn't think it was a type of item either that would like draw a lot of people into my Poshmark closet or eBay store. I think some items are worth picking up if it's going to bring you some extra traffic because of the brand or because of whatever, that piece wasn't gonna do it, so I just let it go. This was so sad. This was a pair of Fit Flops, which is a great brand, but look at like all the crazy staining. I didn't even know how I would begin to get those out, and I hate cleaning shoes. These were a pair of Stuart Weitzman's. Um, they were just a little too worn. There were like too many nicks in the leather. These were probably the saddest thing ever. These are Rag and Bone, and um, you can see that they're a little bit worn on the bottom, but I was okay with that. I was so excited. I have never found Rag and Bone in the store before. They had this really cool kind of like braided detail or like woven detail up on top. And you can kind of see it, but the backs, the backs were super messed up and I didn't see that in my excitement. And so I put them in my cart, but I ended up seeing them before I left, which is good. This pair of Crocs wedges I do end up getting just because I know that kind of stuff can do really well for people who love Crocs. I looked through some more of the women's jackets. Um, again, I don't really find much. There's a bunch of vests and stuff by brands like Old Navy and whatnot. Um, there is this LL Bean vest that I do end up picking up because it's in really great shape and it's pretty cheap. It's only like $4. And again, LL Bean is just such a trustworthy brand when it comes to this kind of stuff. And then I do also come across another Helly Hansen piece. If you watched my Plato's Closet haul, I will link that here. I found like a Helly Hansen ski jacket this however just seemed a little too worn um, it didn't really seem like it would do super well so I ended up leaving this one behind just because I don't really know very much about it I don't know how much it can command and they wanted nine dollars for it so I was like you know what I don't think it's worth that risk I very half-heartedly look through the bags just because I've never found a good bag in my area. Like they either are super worn or stained. I half-heartedly start looking through pants and then I'm like, what am I doing? I have so many pairs of pants at home. So I stop that immediately. I also just like am not super excited about looking through any tops or anything because I feel like you have to look through so much to find anything decent. So you see me go back to kind of like the men's jacket section. Um, again, I feel like jackets are something that there just aren't a lot of because people don't have that many to begin with and people typically invest in you know nicer jackets than they do like their shirts and stuff this is what appears to be kind of like a vintage John Deere I think it was a hundred percent wool um, jacket and I think I end up putting it in, in my cart but then I don't leave with it because there are a few stains and marks that I feel like are a little too hard to get out so I do end up leaving it behind okay not a hundred percent wool but close enough I have heartedly looked through some suit jackets before I remember how much I hate that and I kind of finish out with some coats and jackets and then I'm done. I'm back in the car. Do you remember when I said that I was going to 
like maybe spend 15 20 minutes in there here we are like an hour later i found so much stuff i did end up putting back a lot of stuff that i had initially put in my cart mainly like almost all the running shoes just because um there was a lot of wear to a lot of them and when i like looked over them one more time i was like oh like these are not in very good shape so i did put away most of the running shoes if not all of them the rag and bone boots i was so sad because there was like a really bad um, basically like water stain on the back of both of them. But um, I got some really good stuff. And the best part is I got in my car and I looked at my phone and I had two full price sales, one over on Poshmark and one on eBay. So that's always fun to make sales while you're thrifting. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get stuff listed because I've been buying a ton of stuff even though I have a ton of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go home, bye. Now that you got to watch me thrift at one of my favorite places to go thrifting, like a local community thrift store, I'm going to show you what I got. And I'm also going to do like a bonus thrift haul with some stuff that I got at the Goodwill oh, like a week or like a week and a half ago or something. And it's been a few days since I went thrifting, even, you know, from the footage that I showed you just now. So I might kind of be rusty on some of the stuff that I picked up and like not really know what's going on, but let's get into it. And let's start with the best. Let's start with my most exciting find. And I actually think that this has already sold. So this is a Carhartt plaid fleece lined jacket. It like snaps up there's the fleece on the inside. It is, I believe, a men's medium. And I got it for $5.99. Like, what? What? That's amazing. So $5.99. Um, I really do think that I could call it a shacket. It is awesome. And I showed it in my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will put my handle right here. And I had so many people reach out to ask me about this jacket and I do believe that it's basically been claimed by someone um, and I'm just waiting for them to send me the final details regarding payment and all that kind of stuff. But such a cool piece. Um, I am selling it for less than this, but if I were to list it myself on Poshmark, I'd probably list it around like $75. Um, I didn't look up comps too crazily, but yeah, I think $75 um, would be like a really good place to kind of start and then um, just kind of see what happens from there. I also feel like there aren't very many that look like that, like in that plaid, which I think is super desirable and just like a really great print. And so not print, but pattern, whatever you want to call it. So I think I could even possibly get away with listing it for more, but I think I probably would have listed it around that $75 mark. And if it does sell to um, an Instagram follower, I will let you know in my next what's sold video how much it sold for. So moving on, I did pick up this as well. This is LL Bean, again, a men's piece, I believe. It's a size medium and it's just like a fleece pullover, like a quarter zip. It's got a little pocket on the outside, super lightweight, not anything super substantial, but it was so cheap, which is why I got it. So it was $2.00. And 49 cents and i think you know i'll probably list it for like 25 to 30 so i was happy about that that kind of stuff does do pretty well another ll bean piece this one is for women it's a size small petite this one was 3.99 um and this one is just like a really lightweight quilted vest and it's a full zip it's got zippered pockets um, someone was telling me they sold this really quickly for like 25, 30 bucks or something. So, um, again, I think it's a great brand for this kind of piece. So LL Bean is well known for just like, you know, the stuff that you would wear if you're outside hiking or, you know, that sort of thing, just kind of more comfortable, um, like layering pieces and stuff like that. And so I think that this is a really good piece for that. I also think that, um, it's packable if I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, but yeah, so great piece there. I'm excited about that. I was so excited about this. I actually did not show this in the haul because I found it at the very end after I stopped filming. And I was, I, their pricing doesn't make any sense to me. Like some things are priced a little too high. Some things are priced like this, as you'll see. So this is the brand Merrill. I've been having some really good luck with their shoes lately. This is a size small. And I paid $2.49 for this. It is a jacket and it is so nice. Look at that. So it's like this tweed material. It's got a belt. There are these large pockets on the front. It has basically this like snap button um, across the front. There are like some food stains, but literally I think I could just like scratch them off with my nail. I don't want to do that right now, but... 
oh my gosh, it's just so nice. It's like pretty lightweight. I mean, it's a perfect like transitional jacket. So like spring um, or fall. I haven't looked up comps, but holy cow, like I could not believe I got that for $2.50, basically crazy. Okay, let's get into some shoes. Um, I feel like I picked up a lot of shoes that people in my Instagram were like, don't get those. Because if you aren't following me on Instagram, you don't know that I did this. But basically, I did kind of like a, I showed pictures of the things that I was kind of considering and had a poll going to see if people would pick them up or not for the price. And for a lot of these things, people were like, no, I would not get that. But I did get a lot of them. So let's talk about them. The first thing is this pair of Keens. They are rather large. Um, they are for men. I got these for $7. They were $6.99, as you can see. Um, they are kind of dirty. They're not as dirty as I remember them being, actually. So they are a little bit dirty, but they're really not that bad. They are in really good condition. Um, I probably will list them for like $35 to $40, maybe even more. I haven't really looked up comps. I did... Oh my gosh, they're like so heavy. I couldn't even hold them for very long. They're a size... 15 holy cow okay i might actually list them for more like i'll probably list them a little bit higher just because i imagine finding size 15 shoes is really hard so um because they're kind of more of like a specialty size i will go ahead and list them for a little bit higher and they yeah actually they like are not as dirty as i thought they were i thought they were like caked in mud and dirt and really they aren't they just need a good wipe down and i think those will do great so size 15 holy cow okay um, so yeah, most people were like, do not get those. And then I was like, okay. And I got them. So there's that. Um, a lot of people also said not to get these. This is also Merrill and it's kind of hard to see on the inside, like where it says Merrill has kind of rubbed off. You can see all along the bottom too. It says Merrill. Um, these were priced at $6.99 as well. And these are a size 12 for men. So I got these because I have been having so much luck with hunting gear. I've been selling a lot of like hunting pants or just like camo or um, like those mossy oak print type um, pants. And I figured I would probably be able to move these pretty quickly as well. Um, they're a little bit dirty, as you can see, like they've been worn and stuff. But honestly, they are in pretty good condition, especially on the exterior. Um, for whatever reason, like right along where it says Merrill on both of these, they're kind of like coming apart a little bit but I'll just snip that and note it but other than that they're in really great condition and they're just slip-ons yeah so we'll see how that goes I don't know how to price those yet but um I think it'll do okay for me another pair of hunting type things again a lot of people are like don't get them but I was like okay and then I just got them these are a little bit dirtier along the bottom, but dirt is so easy to get off, just like with a wipe or something like that. Um, this is just the brand Gander Mountain, which is like a store, right? Like I feel like there's a store called Gander Mountain. These are size 12 as well. I'm pretty sure that these came from the same person, but um, these have like the Thinsulate Ultra 400 gram 3M, whatever. They're waterproof. Um, so they're really warm, they're waterproof. They're again, perfect for hiking. And other than the fact that they're kind of dirty, they are in really good shape. So again, I don't know how to price these, but um, let's hope that I can make some money off of those. All right, so that was a lot of men's stuff. I did get some women's stuff as well. Um, this is a pair of shoes by the brand, I don't know if it's Riker or Reeker. I have sold one thing by this brand before, and it was from a grandmother of one of my students. We were doing a garage sale at school, and her mom went to her grandmother, or so her mom went to her mom's house, which is my student's grandmother's house, um, like a state or two over just to kind of pick up stuff for our garage sale because she is really into these kinds of brands and she's really into art to wear. So I feel like I actually learned a lot about some different kinds of brands because of this grandmother of one of my students, this being one of them. And I remember I sold the pair of shoes from her for like, I don't know, like $30, $40 or something like that. So this is what they look like. They have a really pretty kind of like Asian inspired, I forget what this is called. There's a name to this. Like it's um, kind of metallic with the threading. I don't know why I can't remember it, but um, I just thought that was really pretty. There's like this big button here. This is all leather right here. They slip on. Um, so they're just kind of like mules. They're supposed to be really comfortable. 
and they're like in pretty decent shape. I feel like the size has kind of rubbed off a little bit, which is not amazing, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, so we'll see how these do. I'll probably list them for like $35 to $45. I just thought they were really pretty. And for $6, I was willing to try them out. Okay, this was something that a lot of people did say to get. I mean, maybe it was split like 50-50. Um, these were $5 and these are Crocs. They are Crocs wedges, like Mary Jane wedges. They have like an elastic um, strap at the top. These are in a size nine and they are probably just so stinking comfortable. They kind of have the aesthetic of like dance goes, but they're super lightweight. Yeah, I think these were um, comping out around like 25 to 35 dollars ish but i gotta look again i kind of looked up comps a long time ago if i'm wrong i'll correct myself here but yeah five dollars i thought i'd give those a shot um these are picolinos they have these priced at three dollars and they are in a really small size they are in like a five or five and a half or something they're in a european 36 which i don't remember what the how that um converts but there's where it says picolinos i don't know if you can see that i have passed on this brand many times but kathy from ginger marvin sells it often and sells it for good money and these i thought were just really unique i really like the laser cut details in the leather um just nice wedges they're in really great shape open toe i like this kind of like woven detail up here um i don't remember what comps are i'll look again and i'll let you know down here but i just thought i would try them out because she always has such good luck with them I got a couple pairs of kids' shoes. I didn't show these in the part of the video where I was showing you what I was buying either, but these were marked at $2.99, but they were blue, and blue was, I think, 25% off. They are Seychelles. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't even know that they made kids' shoes, and they're, they're, they're just these really cute, like, kind of moccasins with this little um, floral applique up on top, again, kind of with, like, this woven detail, and they're in pretty good shape. Like, there's a little bit of, you know, staining or marks, like, up at the toe, which is kind of to be expected. Um, size 7, but yeah, like, real suede, really great shape. I just thought they were so cute and I thought they were worth picking up for under $3. I don't know again what the comps are because I didn't look at those yet, but I will look and let you know down here. And then these are a pair of Stride Right shoes. I only got them because they were 99 cents and they were blue. So 25% <laughs> off of 99 cents. They're in like decent condition, like some of the leather. I mean, maybe I didn't have to get these. Like there is like a lot of the leather, um, what's it called uh trim is kind of like you know has come off but i think it's still okay i think they'll still sell and when i paid basically like 75 cents for them um and then the size on these is a three and a half i want to say it's kind of hard to see but that's what i think it is so i just thought i'd try them out because they were so cheap and like i said i have sold some for, um i have sold some before let's see i think that's it from that store. So where you saw me thrift, I ended up spending $77.24 on 14 things. So I did definitely pay a little bit more for pieces than maybe I typically have at like the place where I source by the bag or something and everything was under a dollar. But you know, sometimes when you pay a little bit more, you can make a little bit more. So hopefully everything here, except for maybe the exception of like the baby shoes, hopefully everything will give me at least like a $15, $20 profit. We shall see. But um, that's what I got there. Now let's get into what I got at a Goodwill not too long ago. I'm trying to think of like even when I went and why. Oh, it's because I was done with school and my kids and husband weren't. So I had one morning where I could kind of like go shopping and all that kind of stuff. So I did. Um, I only spent maybe like 30 to 45 minutes at this Goodwill, but I'll show you really quickly what I got there too. Um, again, I'll start with one of the best finds, which was this new with tags, Patagonia size extra large. Um, here are the tags and stuff. It is a better sweater vest for men. I did pay up for it. I paid $19 for this, but even if I just like double or come close to tripling my money, I'm okay with that because Patagonia is a great brand to have 
in your eBay store or Poshmark closet. I do think it like brings people to your store. And this is just such a classic piece. Like people are always looking for this kind of stuff. So I don't know exactly what the comps are on that yet. I will look and let you know down here. And then I think everything else is basically shoes. They had really good shoes there this day. So I was really excited about that. Okay, this is a pair of Saucony. I think I'm saying that right. Kathy kind of trained me on how to say it, but um, Saucony shoes. They are the Kinvera 5. I paid, I want to say $7.50 for these because green was half off and these were $14.99 originally. Let me make a double sure. Yeah, green was half off, so I paid $7.50 for these, and they're in really great shape. Like, you know, they look like they've hardly been worn. They're really clean. The bottoms look great. I mean, they have been worn, but they don't look like they've been worn very much. So I don't know what comps are on these. They also seem to be a larger size. They're men's 13, so I kind of looked out on some really big shoes, um, you know, the past couple of thrift trips. This, um, where's the other one? Okay, these are Clarks, and I don't usually like pick up Clarks or get super excited about Clarks or anything. I just thought these were so classy. The leather is so buttery soft. These were $6, and let's see, they are a size uh, six and a half. No, that's a new K. I'm a liar. They're a size nine, so they were a good size. I love this like wooden stacked heel. I thought that was really classy. I don't know. I just liked everything about this. I thought they were so nice. So I did get these. I don't know what comps are. I will let you know down here. Super excited about those. And I'm also super excited because Amber from Amber Resells and Courtney from Common Tags and I were doing this collaboration video where we're gonna see if we can list a hundred things in two days. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail miserably. Um, we shall see, but I'm excited to have stuff that I'm excited about listing for that challenge. So um, the next thing that we have is this pair of Danskos. This is um, in a size 41. I don't remember how that translates, but it's got this fun little like animal print on it. Um, there are like a few little marks that actually I think will come off. I don't think those are like scratches. And I did the dry rot test, which basically means I just kind of like sat there and like tried to like bend them and see if anything happened and they're in really good shape i paid six dollars for these i have been selling dance goes for like 30 to 50 dollars so um i'll look these up to see if they're anything special and if not i'll probably list them at like 40 to 45 dollars okay i'm just now noticing too as i set them down this is not awesome so maybe i'll list them for like 35. i did not see that until this very moment and it's not it ha it's happening a little bit on this pair if you can see like right there so that's not cool but that's okay other than that they're in really good shape other than that huge flaw they're in wonderful shape okay this is a pair of nikes i don't like selling nikes especially when they're super basic like this but i just went ahead and picked them up because they were three dollars they were originally six but um because they were half off they were three dollars so i just got them i don't know what style they are i don't know how much i can get for them i just thought i would try and i know how to find the style number of nikes and do all that stuff i just again whenever i thrift i'm like in such a crunch for time that i usually don't have time to like sit there and type in style names and stuff like that but this this is a size six youth so these are for kids which is totally fine and for someone like me like i can't even fit into this like this is too big for me so anyway we'll see what i can get for those even if i can get like 15 20 dollars i'm cool with that i was so surprised about these because i don't find this kind of stuff in my little town they were in the boutique section but they are a pair of kate spade flats and they're so pretty so they're just like this beautiful leather they have like the big gold um what is this called plaque thingy on the back that says kate spade they've got this cute little patent leather um cap i just thought they were darling they are in a smaller size i want to say they're like a size five and a half or six or something yeah, it's a five. It's so hard to find. It is a size five. Um, part of me wants to try them on and keep them. I think they'll still actually be a little bit too big. And also, like, I don't really like wearing flats. I feel like they're just not actually that comfortable. But I just thought they were really cute. Um, I paid $14 for them. I don't remember uh, what comps were on these, but they were decent enough that I was like, let me just try to get them. And I think it helps to have brands like that in your Poshmark closet because it draws people there. 
Okay, we got so many more shoes. Like basically everything else is shoes. So hopefully you like shoes and you like learning about shoes because that's what I got for you. Here is another pair of, nope, not another pair. Oh yeah, okay, this is another pair of Saucony shoes and um they're like the ever run so it says ever run really big and saucony really small i don't know what that means but um you can see here on the tongue it says saucony ever run but on the inside it says ever run really big um they were in really great shape i thought they looked really nice so i am gonna try them out and see what happens they are a women size 10 and a half which is a great size again with like this kinvara these are like the Kinvara 9 or something like that. And let's see, I paid seven bucks for these. So we'll see, we'll see how those do. This is a pair of uh, New Balance shoes in like this really cool dark, what is this color? This is not teal, turquoise, kind of like a dark turquoise. Uh, no, I don't know, I don't even know. I Why don't I know my colors? I don't know, but yeah, New Balance um it says 247 it says it on the tongue and it says it um inside so i think that's kind of important i don't know the size is honestly kind of rubbing off but i i want to say it's either six and a half or eight and a half but i think it's six and a half and i think it's I don't know. I have some of the other sizes, like the European size and all that stuff. It says 40, so I'll be able to figure it out. But yeah, I mean, there's like a slight bit more wear on these than maybe some of the other shoes. Like, you know, you can see on the rubber down here, but the tops look really great. The uppers look great. The bottoms aren't bad, so we'll see how those do. I feel like New Balance can do really well. Oh, I was so excited about this. I have sold this brand once before and it was again from the grandmother of that student of mine um, and that's how I learned about the brand. So the brand is Fly London. It's a great brand. They retail for a good amount and these were $7. They're size 39. Um, I don't remember what the exact conversion of that is. Here's the bottoms. They're in great shape though guys. They're in such great shape. They are like this black leather wedge you just slip them on they look really comfy and it is a great brand so i don't know exactly how much to list these at yet i have to do some research but i will do that and i will let you know right here but i was excited to find that brand because i don't believe i've ever found it in the wild i only ever got it from my students um grandmother this is another pair of new balance shoes um i feel like again new balance can do really well this is the Push plus I don't know I don't know anything about what any of this stuff means but it helps me look and I got these because they were half off so they were eight dollars but I got them for four um these are a men's size 10 I think they're men's they're in pretty good shape so I got them we'll see what happens with them and then here's my last bag of stuff oh okay this is from the first consignment store this was again something that most people said don't get those but i was like i'm gonna get them because again kathy sells it a lot and i just wanted to see what happened if i tried um the brand is echo and i've passed by this so many times but like i said kathy sells it all the time and for good money these are size 45 otherwise known as a us 11 so they're a really good size i paid eight dollars for them but they're just like a slip-on dress shoe like a loafer um they're in really great shape. Like they kind of look like they haven't been worn very much at all. There's no scuffs or scratches or anything like that. No marks. So because of that, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give them a shot. So those came from that first consignment store and so did this second pair of Echoes. These are a little bit different. They're kind of like I think they're dress shoes too, but they like lace up. They're a little bit more casual. Again, they are $8. They were $7.99 size 45 so i don't know what that is um and then on the bottom it says like echo light dual shock i don't know there's all this stuff so um we'll see we'll see how these do i really like selling men's stuff and these shoes were in really great condition so super excited to try a brand that is new to me it was a little bit of an investment for a newer brand but i'm cool with it because i like learning and this is how you learn you learn by trying out new brands listing them trying them out for yourself because sometimes things do really well for other people and they just don't do very well for you or vice versa like you can sell stuff over and over again and other people are like how are you doing that like i can't move that brand you just have to kind of try things out see what works for you and I'm excited because there are a decent number of new to me brands like the Saucony's. I don't know if I 
have any listed. I, I don't think I've ever listed like Kate Spade shoes, um, Picolinos, right? So there's a lot in here that I'm super excited about. If you are interested in any of this stuff, let me just say this, okay? I have a new project coming up and it does involve everything that you just saw here. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, then definitely make sure that you subscribe so that you can kind of see what is happening and what I'm going to be doing because I am super excited about this new thing that I have happening. So definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it because I don't know if thrift with me's are my thing so i would really appreciate any feedback that you can give me on my thrift with me format and just anything regarding that just so i know if it's something that i should continue to do on my channel because i'm experimenting with that as well just what to do on my channel what you guys like to see and it helps when you let me know so if you enjoyed this let me know if you didn't enjoy it let me know i promise my feelings will not be hurt that's it though i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you are having a wonderful end to the year 2020 and i will see you guys later Bye.